Hello everyone, and welcome to the fourth episode in a series where we create a design system in Figma called FDS. In this episode, we'll be creating typography. Okay, so what is typography? Typography is more than just picking fonts. It's the art of arranging type to make written language legible, readable, and visually appealing. In a design system, typography plays a crucial role in establishing the visual identity and hierarchy of content. To set up our typography, we start with the font family, which is a group of typefaces you use across your system. FDS uses Inter as its default typeface with SF Pro Display and Text for iOS and Roboto for Android. Each font family comes with different weights, which is how thick each character is. We use regular and semi-bold in FDS. And for groups, we use two groups that can cover most use cases. You can add others like label and link, but for FDS, we'll start with heading and text. For scale or sizing, we use a combination of a global four-point scale and t-shirt sizing to create our type scale. In this example, you can see the style name followed by its size and line height. You can see that on the right hand side. The scale is going down from 48 to 40 to 32 to 24, then makes a four point drop to 20, then 16. And so does the line height, where it goes from 56, 48, 40, 32, 28, and 24. Okay, so what is t shirt sizing? Instead of naming our text styles what their role would be, like H1, H2, and body, we use t shirt sizing to make them more scalable. And yes, it's what you would expect from 2XS to 5XL. In this example, an H1 and 1 product can be heading XL, and in another product, it can be heading L. Calling it H1 means that all of your products have to use that style and size, and you would have to create multiple typography sets to provide what each product needs. For naming, we name our typography styles using this naming convention. We've got the group on the left hand side, which is heading and text. The size, all the way from 2XS up to 5XL, then the weights, regular and semi-bold, which for example gives us heading forward slash L forward slash semi-bold, text forward slash L forward slash regular, and text forward slash L forward slash semi-bold. We're going to start with just semi-bold for the headings, then introduce extra weights later. And when Figma updates with typography variables, we'll create variables for family, size, line height, weight, and letter spacing. If you'd like to read more about typography and see some examples, you can visit the typography page in my system called Scale, and the link I'll put in the description. Okay, if you watched episodes two and three of this series, you'll know that I provide a link to all the files I use so you can follow along from the beginning and also get the outcome of each episode. In the beginning file, I'll prepare some of what we're going to create before we begin. And this episode is no different. You can see that the styles have been laid out in a table, saving us both time and getting right to the best way I've found to create type styles quickly. So let's get into it. And to do that, I'm gonna use a similar technique that we used in the other episodes, where I used the styler plugin to take the name of the layer and create a style out of it. So you saw that before when I was making color primitives into styles before converting them into variables. If we zoom in to heading 5XL, you can see that here. We've got web forward slash heading forward slash 5XL forward slash semi bold. On the right hand side, we've got all of its details. So the weight, size, line height, letter spacing. If we come over to here, you can see all the values here. Now, this is true for every other layer as well. If we go down to text regular, there we go. Let's just zoom out again and go to iOS. So the same thing has happened here, but instead of web, we've got iOS at the beginning. And heading 5XL, we've got Android instead of iOS or web at the beginning. And you know what the next step is, right? We're just gonna select all the layers. Okay, so we've got the headings and the text. And I'm just holding down Command-Shift to do this. Then go to Plugins, Styler, and then Generate Styles. Okay, it says it's created 16. Let's go over and have a look. Okay, they're all out of order. And some of them haven't had their regular styles done either. So before I do the text again, I'm gonna just reorder the headings. So 4XL will go there. 
3XL underneath 4, 2XL, XL, large, medium, small, XS and 2XS. Let's open to see if they've all got semi-bold. Yep, that looks fine. Okay, for the text, let's reorder them as well. So we've got extra large, large, medium, small, and excess. Let's open up this layer so we can see that the weights aren't all there. And let's try to run the regular weights from L to XS. Okay. Check their naming. Yeah, that's all fine. Come on, Styler, you can do it. Okay, so it's just sitting there and spinning and there you go. Plugins are infallible sometimes, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So let's move on and run Styler on iOS and Android and see if it works there. Select all the headings for iOS and the text. Let's run Styler. Okay, 20 that time, so let's go and have a look. Let's just reorder heading. Let's place it up there. Okay, so it worked with iOS. Let's do Android now. Click, 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 click. Yep, here we go. Run Styler again. 20, so it's probably worked for Android as well. Okay, if something like this happens when you're doing this tutorial or in your own work, you just gotta pull up your sleeves and put in the work. So let's go and create those missing styles manually. And to do that, we just come over to local styles Press plus, go to text, then go web, forward slash, text, forward slash, what do we got, L, then forward slash regular. And that's going to be 16 and 24. There we go. And that looks all right, so let's do that again for web, text, M, regular, and I'm just gonna copy this for the next one. Go to 14, 20, and create style. Okay, now we got small. Here we go. Leave that at 12 and change this to 16. Create. Yep. And then the last one, which is extra small. And that's 10 and 14. Great. Now we reordered the headings there, but the text here needs to be reordered. And by that I mean regular has to go above semi-bold. So let's do that. And then let's open up iOS and reorder everything here. And I'm just gonna go and do that. Fade out and then fade back in. So I'll see you soon. Okay, we're back and you can see that everything has been reordered. We scroll down, the text has the right order of size and also regular and semi-bold. iOS is okay. And so is Android. But what that didn't do was assign the right style to text L, M, S, and XS. I mean, if I select text XL, you can see that it's there because Styler, when it makes that style, assigns it. So let's go and select text. And this is a good way to learn how to actually assign text styles once you have them. All right, this is just a piece of text without a style. We're gonna go over here and go to styles. Then we're gonna type in text and L regular. So there you go. 
Let's do that for the rest. Copy, just type text M once you get to know them. Regular is dial. Text small. And text excess. Just double check that. And that's it. We've got our textiles. Now, Starla didn't work 100% of the time, but sometimes that happens. We were able to fix those gaps pretty quickly. But that's it for typography. In the next episode, we'll be doing spacing. I hope you're looking after yourselves and each other, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.